Our region needs help more than ever in the fight against drug addiction, and that help came yesterday as the Kentucky Attorney General Andy Bashir, along with other state and local officials, were in Prestonsburg to present the all-female treatment facility Hope in the Mountains with a $900,000 check. What I'd say about Hope in the Mountains is they earned it. Uh, they have a track record uh, of saving lives. And so the money that was provided here today isn't something that was given to them. Uh, they earned it through providing the type of treatment that we need all over this Commonwealth. The nearly $1 million is not state money, but settlement money from the lawsuit against Purdue Pharma, the maker of the drug OxyContin. The people at Purdue Pharma who made these decisions to market this drug like they did, knowing its addictive properties, in areas like ours where men worked in the coal mines, had physically strenuous jobs, had sometimes low educational levels, poverty existed, they targeted areas where they know they knew that this drug might take 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 hold. Uh, to me, that's unheard of. I hope there's a warm place. Uh, that they can reside in for eternity. It's facilities like Hope in the Mountains that not only gives the recovering addict their life back, but it also gives someone back their sister, their mother, and their friend back. We had like a parenting week, um, you know, and I remember being involved in that week and I, and I didn't have any kids or anything. And I recently found out that I am expecting, but through recovery and, you know, just for today, um, you know, I don't, I don't have to get high today and I can be that parent that my parents were to me. That's what you go after, is the one. Not the, not the dozens, not the hundreds, not the what, it's the one. And you have to put a face to it for what you do. Because if you don't, then you fail. But I mean, to see her do so well and to give back, and that's what it's all about, is just giving back. Hope in the Mountains would like to thank everyone for all of their support over the years. Reporting from Prestonsburg for EKB News, I'm Sean Allen.